Hi, I'm Danielle the Clay Lady. Welcome to my studio on the Clay Ladies campus in Nashville, Tennessee. Today's lesson is going to be about control at the wheel. When a student first sits at the wheel, they feel like it's the wheel and the clay against them. But actually, it's you and the wheel against the clay. You want to become part of the machinery. Your body mechanics are very important. Scoot up close to the wheel. Sit on the edge of your seat. Have the wheel head in your lap. You want to make sure that your hip bones are just a little bit higher than your wheel head so that you can lean forward and use your body against the clay. When we first put the clay on the wheel, we want a round piece of clay, a round piece of clay to go on a round wheel going round and round to make a round pot. The best way to get the clay to stick is make sure your wheel head is dry, squeeze out the water your sponge, push, lift, that'll be just enough water for the clay to stick to. Go ahead and pat it down, pat him on his sides, and this will save you a lot of time in your centering. If it's already good and attached, it'll keep it from rolling off your wheel head, hitting your bucket, and spilling your water all over the floor. And also, it'll help you with your centering time because the clay will already be round and attached to the wheel head. Now you think that you're controlling the clay with your hands, but actually you're controlling the invisible forces around the clay. You want to control friction. Friction is when the clay drags in your hands. And so we control that by keeping our hands wet. We always want to be slipping across the surface of the clay. That's why this is called slip. You also are controlling centripetal force, and you control that with a pedal, with the wheel speed. When your clay is solid and you're first starting, your wheel speed can be fast. But as your pot progresses and the walls get thinner, you want to slow down your wheel speed. The rule in the classroom is, the thinner the walls, the slower the wheel. Or, if you feel out of control, you probably are slow down. Now the last invisible force that we're controlling is gravity. And we control that with form. When we're making our pot, we can't make a pot on a narrow base with a really wide lip because gravity will push it down. That's why when you look at pottery, it has such a graceful form, almost like the arches of a bridge. And that's because we're controlling the gravity with our form. The clay actually stacks on top of itself as it makes the form. So keep that in mind when you're working at the wheel. Although it seems like you're controlling the clay, you're really controlling the invisible forces around the clay. You're becoming part of the machinery. You're going to be slipping across the surface. You're going to be controlling your wheel speed. And you're going to be keeping in mind that there's gravity force on top. 